doing this week's job with Jason. This week's topic, are the historical low interest rates a bad thing? And I'll tell you, of course they're not, okay? Low rates is a good thing. But I will tell you, you need to know what's going on in the industry. That way, as you buy a house, as you sell a house, if you're a realtor in the industry, kind of know what to expect what's going on, okay? So historically, the mortgage industry-wide is built to do about $1 trillion worth of mortgages a year, okay? And currently, with the low rates, with all the refinancing, the cash out refinances, and the busy buying season coming, uh, we're projected as an industry-wide to fund eight to ten trillion dollars in business that's eight to ten times of business and i just don't think the system's going to be enough to handle it and what i mean by that is what do you mean jason with the system i'm talking about the mortgage companies the processors their underwriters the closing departments but just as important the appraisers that are out there they have to appraise a house for a refinance or a purchase title companies going to run title on purchases and refinances homeowners insurance agents got to do the same and so does the homeowner association so if you're a seller or a realtor Make sure you're setting the right expectations, okay? Do not wait as we roll into this market to order an appraisal and inspection or anything like that. Make sure you do everything up front and set everyone up for success, okay? If you're buying a home, okay, make sure you get with a mortgage lender that will actually accept your documents and get pre-approved up front. The reason why this is important is because 95% of all banks, they'll give you a letter, but they won't give you a pre-approval. Let's say when you find the house, go ahead and bring us the documents. I'm telling you, I already got two emails from major banks saying, hey, we're 60 days out from a purchase. One was 120 days out. So I'm already starting to see this systematic failure, if you will. But um, if you have any questions, give me a call. Um, we have plenty of capacity and we are prioritizing. Our purchases come first for our builders and our realtors. And then our database clients who need to refinance come second. And then everyone outside the scope, uh, they'll have to come third. But if you have any questions, we're built to make sure we handle it. And uh, number one thing is make sure you're setting the right, right expectations. If you have any questions, give me a call, 281-882-8888.